Robertson over at St. Paul United Church of Christ. Happy birthday. Now that might seem kind of strange, huh? But this is Pentecost Sunday and we are celebrating the birth of the church. And while it has gone through various iterations and forms in the time from this passage in the book of Acts and, and this passage being prophesied in the book of John, we certainly know that what was happening that day so many, many years ago continues to give us life and fire even still today. When we look at John 7, 37 through 39, we are reminded that Jesus promises to be the one to satisfy our thirst, to be a river of living water flowing freely, and that out of the heart of believers, there shall flow rivers of living water. Think about the tranquility the peace, the wonder that is water. We had the opportunity to visit the Grand Canyon last fall, and while we were there, I marveled at how the Colorado River, despite the fact that its widest point is only 300 feet wide, was able to carve through rock over years upon years upon years, forming what we now know as the Grand Canyon, one of the most beautiful sites in all the world. That little river flowing, just as it was meant to be, is what formed this unbelievable revealing of all that the earth holds and all the possibilities that we hold when we flow as the little rivers that we were meant to be. On Pentecost, the original Pentecost, everyone was together. They were in one place and all of a sudden they heard this sound like a violent wind and, and people started talking, but they were talking in other languages and yet they could understand each other. Can you imagine what it would look like, what it would feel like if even though we all seem to speak different languages in time, we could understand one another. We could have care and concern and understanding for the perspectives of others. Maybe it's not actual languages that are different for us, but we certainly do seem to speak in very different ways around the world. Imagine what it would look like if we all came together understanding one another to be united, to be united as rivers flowing, living water, alive, abundant, giving water to anyone who needed it, making sure that people had their needs met, that we were able to be a restorative space and place. Can you imagine? What a birth that we continue to rebirth over and over again, reiterate over and over again. Isn't it amazing to know that we get to participate, that since that very first Pentecost, we continue to be a part of this great body, this great cloud of witnesses that is made up of all who believe that what Jesus can do is to provide in ways that we can't possibly begin to imagine and that we get to participate in it. Let us pray. God, we breathe in knowing that you are the breath in our lungs. Help us to be the little rivers you created us to be, flowing straight from you through our hearts into the world satisfying the thirst of others the way that Jesus showed us to do, the way that Jesus ultimately only can do, but chooses to do through us and in us and with us and for us. We rise up. We rise up like the water at the edge of the bank. We stretch ourselves, covering more land, reaching further to quench more thirst. We are united, one spirit, one love, one life. In the name of Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Go in grace and peace to celebrate 
the birth of the church and the continual rebirth of the body of believers, the faithful community called to be evidence of God's love still yet today. May you go in grace and peace knowing you are loved to be loved in this world. Amen.